Over millions of years the earth was formed, and in that time, metals and minerals were created. Then the human race started to pop up everywhere. New products and technologies were developed, and with it we produced more CO2 and other greenhouse gases, which results in global warming. The last few decades we began to consume our resources at a rapidly increasing pace. For the harder it gets to extract those resources, the more energy it will consume. The rapid rate at which we consume essential metals like silver and copper results in a decrease in the world reserves, so that nowadays, to the reserves in 2040. Imagine what the consequences would be for you as a student in 2040 if the government steps in to control the distribution of scarce metals. I'm sorry John, but that calculator runs on batteries that need lead. So, calculators are government property. I'm afraid mobile phones that use tantalum, uh, that's also on the scarcity list. Oh, you still have one? Oh dear. Well, since a mobile phone is a luxury product for a student, you'll have to scrape together your coupons to get another one. Gosh, back in the days when we all bought LCD TVs, we used up all our indium supply. We'll have to try and share a bit more, but hey, the more the merrier. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Those promising new LED lamps actually use gallium. <laughs>